everyone, Harlan here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is a little bit of cooking. And I'm also busily about doing about a billion other things today, trying to get ready for folks to come tomorrow. I'm not sure when you'll see this video. I don't know, or later tonight, Saturday night. I know I just put a video up this morning though, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure when this will go up, but as soon as I can get it done and get it edited, I'll get it up, <laughs> whenever that is. But my family is coming tomorrow, Sunday, and uh, so I am going to be making some deviled eggs and my strawberry shortcake. Now, I've never made my deviled eggs on camera, and there's a reason for that. I'm terrible at peeling my eggs and getting them all taken care of. And trust me, I've tried to do everything that everybody says, and I'm going to shock them in, in ice water this time when I make them. But I'm just telling you, I have done everything that is known to man to try to make peeling eggs easier. I've used old eggs. I've da, 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 you know, I've done it all. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We're just going to go with it with however it does. And, uh, but my deviled eggs are my family's, one of my family's favorites, the way I make the, the inside, which I'll show you, of course, later. You know, make the goodness that goes, you know, back in the egg. And then I will be making my strawberry shortcake. Now, for those of you who have been with me for a long time, you'll know that this is a very old, old, like 1980s old recipe that I've been making pretty much since the 1980s. <laughs> Every time there's a cookout anywhere, I'm asked to bring this silly little cake and everybody loves it. It is so easy peasy, you guys are not even gonna believe it. But I will go ahead and make that too on camera. Not sure how uh, far into detail I'll go with these recipes, you guys. This is just me kind of bringing you along as I you know, do my last minute things. As you can see here, I cleaned off my um, island took all the foo-foo as chris says off because i want to be able to see everybody and i want everybody to be able to spread out and you can see i have my milk glass dishes here here's my shopping list that we've been working off of for forever and a day here and uh i've got nuts to put in the end one i've got you can see reese cups that's everybody's favorite candy well that's coming anyway my dad's especially and candace and dustin both love Reese cups. So I got a bunch of Reese cups and I've got them on another milk, you know, getting ready to put them in another milk glass little dish there. And then the little red dish is for our cheese ball and then crackers in the, in the end dish. And then that little red bowl is a bowl of nuts that Chris had out and he's been munching on them. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to get started here and then you can see I cleaned off the kitchen table. I don't know whether you can see that or not. Hey Alexa, turn on the kitchen table light. Okay. I don't know whether you can see, I did put a blue tablecloth on that table. It already has the table, uh, affordable table pad on it to protect the table, but I went ahead and put a tablecloth on it and I put my silver or my plasticware over there, a pile of plates and a candle and I'll light that tomorrow. You know, again, to have all the foo-foo stuff gone so we can have time, you know, so we can spread out. I don't leave that stuff into place, at least on the island and on my table. When people come to visit, y'all, I'll have it on there until they see it. And then I'll go, okay, let's move this stuff out of the way, you know, because I like to have nice big spaces for people to put their stuff down, their purses, their diaper bags, whatever else might be carried in, you know, and all that stuff. Here comes Chris in the door. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there he was. So I'm gonna get my eggs cooking, and right now I have five old eggs that I had, I've had in the refrigerator. So let me put you down here a little bit. Okay, I've got five old eggs in there so far, and I wanna add I wanna make a baker's dozen. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And the reason I do a baker's dozen is just so I have an extra cover the eggs with cold water. I start them in cold water. And then once they come to a boil, I boil them for about 13 or 14 minutes. I believe 12 gets them there to hard boiled. 
I'm going to run over here and put them on my stove. Now I'm going to make me some ice water and I'm going to put it in this bowl. put some ice in the bowl and then I'm just gonna put some water in it and that way I'll have a nice ice bath ready for when the eggs are done and they're gonna go right in here and I'm gonna shock them I hope shock the shells right off of them right I'm really not ready to to video to be honest because I really didn't have this in mind to do so I haven't really prepared so this will not be like some of my other cooking videos where I have everything nicely out in dishes and <laughs> whatnot this is from pampered chef I'm sure some of you recognize this and it comes in a dish like this and this has got like a liquid that is cooled. So when you set it out after it's been in the refrigerator for, you know, for overnight or whatever, this will be in this case, it'll be in overnight. And you put it out on your counter, it keeps the eggs cool. Here's the lid. Pampered Chef, you can see that I have no idea if they still have anything like this. I'm sure they probably do. It also came with like a, you know, you can replace the egg part with this to make like a relish tray, you know. I'm not gonna do that today. Just doing the doubled eggs. Okay. So we're kind of in a holding pattern for them. Okay, for the strawberry shortcake, these are all the ingredients right here, y'all. An already store-bought angel food cake. I always make these cakes in one of these uh, aluminum foil pans. I don't know why, they just always work out really well in these. And I always make them in these. So, take this apart. I'm gonna make it in the bottom one. And these come with a lid, see that? Aren't they cute? So, I just like to just rinse it out. I think it's fine because it's been sealed up, but you know, never be too careful. Okay, eggs are not boiling yet. First thing I need to do is bring one cup of water to a boil in here. Okay, next thing we do is, as that is coming to a boil, is we just take the angel food cake into small-ish pieces. And cover the bottom of the pan. Okay. this little recipe is to make. And then we have a large box of strawberry jello. And what I want to do is 
pour the jello and dissolve it into the one cup of warm water or boiling water. Set that aside for a second. And then I have a, a 16 ounce container of frozen strawberries that I've thawed out in sugar. So open these up. And what I want to do is I want the juice out of these strawberries in this measuring cup right here. Oops. I don't know if I can get it in the measuring cup. Because I need two cups of cold liquid. Doesn't have to be just water, but of cold liquid. And I've done it with using the liquid out of here and then two, two cups of cold. And it doesn't set up as nice as I like it to set up. When I use, go ahead and use the liquid out of here and then add water to make up two cups. That makes sense. Okay, and there's the strawberries in there. And then I want to add enough liquid to bring it to two cups. as you can see is two cups in there and then I add this to the one cup and the strawberries my eggs are boiling I'll be right back okay sorry about that and then so then I mix all this together And then I pour the whole mixture over this cake. This, this recipe is always good to do a day ahead of time. As you, and you can see why you want that jello mixture to set up. You know, want to give it time to set up. Okay. I take time to spread the strawberries out a little bit. And then I smush the angel food cake down to make sure that it's nice and, you know, that it absorbs all the liquid. Okay. And then you see this big old tub of Cool Whip? That whole thing gets put on here. And this is a 16 ounce container of Cool Whip. much use the whole thing yes I do I made this when Barb and Don were here <laughs> we ate it every evening we had a little piece this is really not that fattening, except for the strawberries, you know, in their own sugar. So I guess. And that looked good. It tastes just as I'm telling you. This is so refreshing, so light. It is really quite good. Oh, 
come on now. There's one piece of angel food cake that doesn't want to get covered up there. <laughs> okay. Now what I do is I take a little paper towel and just, I have a little bit of strawberry juice there and over here. Okay. Put the lid on this and put it in the refrigerator and it'll be good to go for tomorrow. that are nice and boiled. I'm going to pour the hot water off of them first. And then, here they go. I'm going to shock them. And this cold water, I'm going to let them sit in there for a minute or two. Hopefully, that will work. Okie dokie, I'm back. And these have been in here for about 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. So we're going to see. We're going to see if this works. Got the... Uh, Cool whip container here. Don't ever put devil or eggs, by the way, down into your garbage disposal. Trust me, I learned the hard way that that doesn't work. And look, it's coming off really nicely. Woohoo! Look at that. Very nice. Just gonna leave them in there. Hopefully. Well, that worked really well, y'all. Yes, it did. These are just lovely. Yay! All right, I'm gonna speed up and be back when I'm done peeling. Okay, I'm gonna line this little dish with some paper towels and put them out on the paper towels. I missed one. <laughs> I only had one failure, so that's not too bad. I did miss one here, though. First thing I want to do is cut them in half. I use a paring knife. I cut them in half. Put the yolk in there. Put the white in the dish. Oops, that one tore. That's all right. I've got just enough with one failure. Okie dokie, you guys. Well, I had just enough with the one egg failure. So, I won't be able to taste an egg for you, but maybe I'll have a little bit of the egg yolk mixture to try for you. Okay, next thing I do is I take a fork. Hands wet, hang on. and I smash down all the eggs. Now, I know a lot of people might put their egg yolk mixture in a piping bag and pipe it in. I don't do that. I just spoon it in with a teaspoon, which is, I know, a very old-fashioned way to do it probably, but I'm kind of old and old-fashioned. <laughs> but anyway, so I just smash up all the yolks until they're crumbly small as i can get them i don't like to have i don't like to taste like big clumps of yolk in my deviled eggs as far as how much of each of these things i add to my deviled eggs 
I haven't a clue, you guys. But these are my ingredients, and I encourage you, if you try this, <laughs> to add as much or as little as you like in your mixture. There we go. Now, I do add sweet relish to mine. I know some people don't add relish, but I do. I add relish to mine. And again, I just add it till it looks like I want it to look. And then I add mayonnaise. And I am generous with the mayonnaise. And then I add mustard. I use Golden's or French's brown, brown mustard. Again, and I add a little pepper. I don't add salt because the mayonnaise is very salty, you know. And then I just mix it so it's the consistency I like and I taste, and then I add what needs to be added, and you know, till I get it the way I like it to be. dry. That has it. Sometimes I put a little bit of the juice in too. Now I just get a teaspoon, a plain old teaspoon, and I pick each one up individually and fill it up just like that. To finish them off, of course, where did I put my paprika? Oh, this is my fancy container of paprika. <laughs> it's Chris's handwriting. And I do, did stick a little uh, toothpick in that one to show that that's the one that's, that's split in the bottom. And Chris and I will take that, or I will take that one. I will give those instructions, and my dad will go for it. You watch. He'll get, oh, is it broken, Arlen? And he'll go get a fork and spear it and shove it in his mouth. <laughs> because that's just well, how he is, you know. Whoops, so much there. I don't like a ton of paprika, but there we go. And that, my friends, is my deviled eggs. And they are gonna go right in the refrigerator too. Okie dokie, you guys. <laughs> well, that about does it for my cooking. These turned out to be super cute. I mean, I think they'll be really good. And I think, I mean, as I said, they're not perfect. They're absolutely not perfect. 
<laughs> but I think people are gonna really like them. And they'll be surprised that I did it because they, know, they hear me complaining about having to peel eggs all the time. So that shocking them in the ice water really, really worked this time and I let them sit for 10 or 15 minutes and I think that's the key. Because I've done it before and I let them sit a minute or two and it didn't work. Let them sit in that ice water for probably 10, 15 minutes. And it really worked well for me this time. So, and as you saw, my little strawberry shortcake is in there. It's ready to go. So that's all the cooking I'm doing. I bought macaroni salad and potato salad. And we're having hamburgers and hot dogs and some baked beans. And I'm just going to dress the baked beans up with a little bit of bacon, a little bit of ketchup, a little bit of mustard. Kind of like I did with, uh, with the deviled eggs, kind of a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I'm turning into my grandma, <laughs> my Mooney. That's what I used to call her Mooney. That's what I, that was my, both, I called both my grandmothers Mooney, but my, both of them kind of cooked like that. A little bit of this, a little dash of that. And that was it. Look at me. I'm all hot from running around here doing all this. But anyway, let me do, give this a taste for you because I do have just a spoonful left. Mm. It's really rich. Mmm but really good <laughs> and really fattening with all that mayonnaise. We're not gonna stress over that. We're not gonna stress. It's a celebration tomorrow, you know, not something to be stressed about. But anyway, that'll do it. So let me go into some final words here. I might give this up Saturday evening because I'm pretty much done cleaning. All we have left to do is vacuum. I see the floor needs to be vacuumed. But bathrooms are clean, sheets are changed. You know, I've got a load of laundry in. I've just got to finish that. Chris and I are having tomato sandwiches for dinner. No big deal with that. So I'm pretty much done. I'm pretty much ready for anybody who wants to walk in. <laughs> they can walk in so I can sit down right now, get myself a cup of tea and try to do some editing. So maybe I'll try to do that. But anyway, all right. Thank you all for stopping in here on this little impromptu little uh, video. Give me time to get the recipes put in. I, I'm not even going to give a recipe for the deviled eggs, you guys, honestly, because I really don't know. You saw, but I will try to get a recipe for the strawberry shortcake in there for you guys. And uh, what I might do, I think I might have a picture of it and I might flash it up here at the end. And the end and if y'all want to pause your computer and take a screenshot of it and that way you could you know print it off as a picture at home that might be the way to do it, it might be easier for you but anyway let me go into my final I think I see a deer in my backyard there I see movement no it's just leaves <laughs> anyway let me go into some squirrel <laughs> Ding, ding, ding. I am a ding bat sometimes, y'all. I'm not even kidding you. Okay, uh, let me go into my final words and say, again, thank y'all for stopping in here. And for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts. I'm sorry, I get touched sometimes when I do this because I really am, do feel led to say these words. And this is a happy video, I'm sorry. Uh, I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love you all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, probably Tuesday, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.